That was outstanding. We honestly have no words. That was honestly the best, one of the best things I've ever done. No Good morning guys, we are literally in the biggest rush of our lives, but welcome to 24 hours in Napoli. We are going to be exploring the different things that Naples has to offer and that starts, look how small it is, with a quick trip to Pompeii. We are very, very late and um, we need to get out of here, quickly grab some breakfast and then get to the bus that's gonna take us there. Um, we did arrive in yesterday, I had some editing to do which meant that we couldn't really do anything when we got here. Um, and so what we've done is we've decided to just showcase you guys as much as you can do in this beautiful city as possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out now and we are gonna go and explore as much as we possibly can. Okay, so we have just arrived at Pompeii. This is the number one recommended thing to do in the entirety of Naples. It's just a 25 minute drive. We grabbed the tour. As you can see just behind me, you can see some of the ruins. Um, the Beth, if you pan over there, see a big old statue. Not sure how well the camera will show it, but we are super, super, super excited for this one. I don't know that much about Pompeii other than that Vesuvius erupted and it's just a town that's been left and there are still sort of cement carcasses, if you will, or, or I don't know how you describe it, but. Yeah, I am so, so excited for this one. And if you are in Naples, then this is my number one recommendation. I haven't been, been yet, but everybody raves about it. So we're gonna go in there. Um, I probably won't film much as the lady that we have on our bus is our tour guide. And I don't just wanna film her the entire time. It's very off-putting. I wanna make sure that she, knows she feels comfortable so that it's a great tour for everybody. So I will probably just shoot a few little videos on my phone and uh, yeah, then catch up with you guys afterwards. But first thing on the Naples list, number one is gonna be here. Let's go. We have just finished up at Pompeii and that was outstanding. We honestly have no words. That was honestly the best, one of the best things I've ever done. It, that ever, that lives up to the hype. We only spent a little over two hours here. Uh, my recommendation is you need longer. Admittedly, yeah. our tour guide was absolutely fantastic. She, she was, was really so, good. so good and really funny and gave us amazing history about the place. Um, but it, you do learn a lot of stuff that you obviously wouldn't have known. Yeah. Like you couldn't have probably work that out on your own. But no, you de you still. definitely. I would definitely recommend a tour guide. Like that is. So yeah. my my the struggle that I'm in right now in terms of recommendations is this one was only like two hours, and if you'd have done the longer tour, you go to a place called Sorrento, which is just down um, by the coast. Mm. But still, you don't get you get only get a two hour tour here, and I personally feel like you need three hours here. Obviously, but. with a group that's walking around constantly, like learning about everything, and I'm kind of one of those people that just wants to like stand there and like look yeah. at it for ages because it's just amazing but yeah like it, it's tough to recommend it's an amazing trip and if this is all you got so i still feel incredibly privileged and lucky yeah. to have been here and i'm so happy that we did it it was one of the best things i've ever done ever um but i just wish that there was a little bit longer but that's just me nitpicking um <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to get back on the bus and we're going to head back into um no. napoli we're going to get a pizza because all i'm going to eat here is pizza it's going to be amazing we're so excited. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. Okay, 
Hey guys, so we have just arrived back in Napoli uh, city centre. We've walked um, from where we were dropped off and we walked to get some pizza at a very, 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 very famous pizza place called Sorbio Pizza. Now, Sorbio Pizza has got like 16 and something thousand reviews on TripAdvisor. It's like notorious for being the best pizza in Naples, which is the birthplace of pizza for those of you that don't know. So it basically is genuinely considered by many to be the best pizza in the world. And there are normally queues for an hour and a half to get it. That is how popular it is. So we came to get this pizza. And we came <laughs> on the one day, or the, there's one week one of the week. year they close, we came on that week. Yeah. So we are here on the one week in the world that we can't get the best pizza in the world. No, which but... is extremely sad. But that being said, that being said, we have just walked down the road to another incredibly famous pizzeria mm -hmm. called Dematteo's and uh, we've grabbed the takeaway beats from there. So Beth is going to try hers and she's the market that you guys should rely on because I don't eat cheese. So I mean, talking to me about pizza is redundant. Uh, the so, thing is they're so good that you don't actually need all the stuff on it. Like you just simply need like the base, the tomato yeah. sauce and the mozzarella because all the taste is just like so strong. Yeah. It's not like having exactly. pizza Exactly. So like everybody sort of says that pizza over here you just get margarita so it seems to be the most important choice and that's what best got gonna smash some pizza now and we will let you know our reviews in just a couple of seconds it's good. we have just finished our pizzas and we are now walking down the lovely streets there's a rat on the floor <laughs> We just saw that rat as I said the word lovely streets. That is unbelievable <laughs> luck. So, another thing that's happened is the day that we chose to come to Naples is a Tuesday. Having no real clue about why a Tuesday would be a bad idea, essentially what happens is everything seems to close. So two of the museums that we were gonna go see that are really, really famous, closed. Um, another modern art museum, closed as well. It's just making our lives extremely, extremely difficult because the things we're gonna show you guys um, aren't possible. Obviously, the main reason you're here, if you are in Naples, I'm assuming, is to see Pompeii, which we loved, or to have some pizza. <laughs> Now, those two things we have done, and those things I can confirm, are more than worth a 24 hour visit. What we're gonna do now is go have a walk around the city, you know, have a, enjoy the architecture, enjoy everything there is, and then we'll probably get back to the hotel, and I will go through with you guys what I found online before we came of the best things that you can do in Naples and how people reviewed them. So at least you guys have some info before you choose, if you did wanna to choose, to come to Naples. But yeah, we're gonna walk around the city, and we will catch you guys in a few hours. What is up guys? We have got back to our apartment and basically what I'm gonna do is because we didn't get to go to a lot of the places that are recommended in Naples, I've spent some time doing some research on the places that were recommended so that I can give you guys an overview of the places that if I had some more time here that I would choose to visit. Number uno, or number one. Napoli underground. So there is a large part of Napoli that is still preserved underground and Sorry. Ready? So there is a large part of Napoli that is still preserved underground. Obviously, I don't know masses about this uh, excursion. So this is one that looks really, really, really interesting. The fact that there's an underground city, to me, is one of the most interesting aspects of the entire city. So if you get the chance, I would suggest definitely doing that. Number two is the Napoli Cemetery. So this one was really high on my and Beth's list. Um, put simply, it's a cemetery, but underground in the cemetery, there is preserved like bones and skeletons and graves basically of all the people that died during the plague in Naples when the plague broke out. So that's like hundreds of thousands of people were killed in Napoli. I think it was 250,000. And it's all preserved underground and you can go down there and there's like legends around how taking care of one of these skeletons is meant to be good luck for you. So you see people going down there and, and nursing these skeletons. It's, it, it sounds like it's an incredibly um, interesting place to be. On to number three. Probably one of the things I'm most disappointed that I do not get the opportunity to do 
is to watch the incredible Napoli Football Club. Napoli is one of uh, the best teams in Italy. It's one of the strongest teams in Europe and it has an abundance of high profile players and a stadium where the atmosphere looks absolutely unreal. So I would definitely recommend if you get the chance, go and see the incredible Napoli Football Club and go to the stadium because it is something to withhold. Um, and last but absolutely not least is the Napoli Archaeological Museum. Now this holds so many artifacts are meant to be absolutely unreal. We are genuinely so disappointed that we didn't get to go to this. We were going to go straight from Pompeii to the museum but unfortunately it was closed today. That has been the story of our trip. Basically, I think the day that most places close is on a Tuesday, which is fair enough. It's just unfortunate that the day that we chose to show you as much as we could, we were kind of um, let down. But that is also, you know, it's not their fault. It's, it's our organization. It's just the way that the, the stars have aligned. Absolutely head in there. We heard from the people, uh, from the tour guide at Pompeii, that it is a really, really good museum. It's fantastically well reviewed. And I think it's got some historical artifacts that are absolutely amazing. So if you get the chance, definitely head in there. It's been amazing. We've really, really enjoyed it. We are genuine. I'm, I'm genuinely so sorry that I couldn't show you all of these places um, with the camera and show you it when we were there. Um, it's not what I planned whatsoever. But unfortunately, when you travel, these things sometimes happen. The rest of the trip, we're in Italy for the next 12 days. Um, We've got so much planned. We're in Rome tomorrow, then Florence, then Venice, then we're heading up to Ljubljana in Slovenia as well. Um, it's going to be amazing. And unfortunately, the day that we had to come to, come to Naples just so happened to fall on this day. Um, again, genuinely sorry that you couldn't see all of that. But hopefully, you've got enough from this video to realize what a fantastic place Naples is. Amazing 24 hours. You do need more than 24 hours in this place. This is not an Edinburgh or whatever that I showed in my last video. You need, you need a really long time here. I'd say at least two or three days to really venture out, go down to the coast and you know do all the museums and, and go to a football game and everything. And you know you you would need a couple of a couple of days here. So if you guys are thinking of coming to Naples, I a million percent recommend it. We've had a fantastic time here, but just take a little bit longer, take your time walking around, enjoy the sights, and make it a trip that's worth remembering and not something that you're just trying to cram, 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 cram. Yeah, so gonna leave it there. Um, thank you so much for all the support as always. I really do appreciate it. Like I said before, these 24 hours in a certain place series, I'll be running throughout the year, and I've got a couple coming out in another couple of weeks so if you guys are enjoying them please do make sure to let me know they're super fun to film although maybe a little bit stressful because it means rushing around but they are still a lot of fun to film and i really do enjoy it so thank you so much guys and i cannot wait to see you on next week's video where we will be touring the incredible rome in a bit guys have a wonderful week